What do you do when you lose your mojo? For me, I force myself to make cards sometimes. Otherwise, I'm just never going to get there. And today I had the help of Alta News' marvellous monthly series. I'm using the Marigold Butterflies Craft Your Life Project Kit. And this is a beautiful set. It has everything you need to make a million zillion cards. Seriously. <laughs> So the kit actually comes with the stamp set, the layering stencil set, a coordinating die set, as well as an embossing folder. The only thing I'm not using today is the embossing folder. So if you haven't got the subscription to this kit, then you can recreate this card or something very similar with one of the other Alta New floral sets or the previous Craft Your Life kits. They have so many different gorgeous flower, floral, flower, <laughs> bouquets with coordinating stencils that make making cards easy. And just by creating, putting some ink on paper just gives me enough oomph to get started. And I find once I get started, I always end up with a card in my hand. All right, so I did actually stamp out that beautiful floral image from the set. I added some inks with the layering stencils and just used my used <laughs> used my blending tool to kind of make it look like the shadowing for the petals was on the inside. You know, just giving that little bit of depth. It just wasn't enough. So I did come in with a second layer of ink. This is the rouge and only added it to a couple of the layers and I think that did make a difference. And when in doubt, I say splatter. You can't go wrong with a good splatter. If you're not sure about something or you just want to add a little something something to your card, I usually tend to go to either a black or a white splatter. And then it gives you time to think while it dries. The other thing I decided to do here was layer one of the butterflies from the coordinating die set. And I love that this set has those coordinating dies because it has the stamp set. I haven't actually tried the stamps with the die. I wonder if they do work together. I'll let you know. But I also decided to die cut this butterfly a second time with some of the new glitter cardstock from Alta New. This one's called Bronzite and it's from the Golden Sunrise set. It has three different beautiful colors in it. And if you head to blog you'll see what I did with the leftover I'm saying that with inverted commas butterfly <laughs> because I literally only used three inserts out of the wing on this particular card <laughs> I also had a alcohol ink background that I did use the coordinating shaped die to sit behind the die cut jet black butterfly and then the panel itself, I did cut down with one of the rounded rectangles. I added a sentiment from the Inky Bouquet stamp set because I thought that the boldness of the sentiment went well with the black die cut butterfly. And seriously, I nearly made the card with just that centerpiece. I was looking at it and I really liked it and I thought maybe I could make this into two cards. But in the end, the original card design won out and I adhered the outside portion of the die cut to the front of the A2 sci-fold card and popped up the center as well as the butterfly. Let me know, did you prefer the card a little bit more clean and simple with just the center of the die cut rounded rectangle or do you like it better with the whole panel on the front with the dimension-y stuff happening. Let me know in the comments below. Now if you did enjoy today's video and were inspired by this card, please click on the thumbs up button to let me know that you were and subscribe if you haven't already. It's totally free. I look forward to seeing you here at my next two videos with some more floral inspiration and ideas for your card designs. I look forward to seeing you there. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye!